I mean, I remember being the on-call guy and I remember one night having to rebuild an application server and it was like midnight and the progress bar said it was going to take at least three hours uh, for it to be completed. So me and one of my engineers, we actually went to a midnight showing of Cloverfield in 2008. So at like 2.30 in the morning, after having our head spinning from that first person aspect ratio of that movie, which, which was really crazy, we get back to the office and there's still 20 minutes left on the progress bar. So while it was a memorable night, I would gladly have traded that for sleep uh, rather than finishing up at like 4 a.m. only to have to return to work a few hours later. That was a crazy movie, though. I don't know if you haven't seen Cloverfield. I mean, it's a little bit old now, but you should check it out. So let's summarize Dynatrace's AI filtered out false alarms and correlated issues automatically by eliminating routine firefighting. Developers and IT engineers can get back significant time to devote to innovation instead of remediation. As Jay said, Dynatrace gave them bandwidth to do cool things again. It even freed up personal time that they had lost because they had to keep fixing problems overnight and on the weekends. So, not a bad story, right? Kroger showed it's like a master class in making applications run smoothly with minimal ops effort by leveraging the right observability approach.